They're the billionaires next door, and their Silicon Valley lifestyle is being fueled by private jets. But are Google executives taking advantage of taxpayers' money? The investigative unit has been on this story for more than a year. Google's founders and principal owners are parking their private planes on publicly owned land at Moffett Field. NBC's Stephen Stock first broke the story last year and tonight has the new developments and how much money is this costing taxpayers? A lot of money, Raj and Jessica. Je by now, just about everyone has heard of the deal between H211, the founders of Google, and NASA Ames at Moffett Field. A deal that allows them to keep up to seven private airplanes and two helicopters there under a company they called H211. Tonight, for the first time, we take you inside that relationship and we piece together exactly how much you are subsidizing Google's founders to travel all over the world. It's a common sight at NASA Ames, one of the airplanes belonging to Google's founders, a Boeing 757-23A sitting in front of the hangar that gave H211 its name. H211's principals are Sergey Brin, Larry Page, and Eric Schmidt. The same three principals at Google, whose headquarters is less than three miles away. According to federal records obtained by NBC Bay Area, the 757 for years used taxpayer supported jet fuel to fly around the world to places like Liberia, Scotland, and Hawaii. Take September 22nd, 2009. Records show the plane gassed up at Moffett Field the day before leaving to fly to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. H211 paid $2.37 a gallon for 2,218 gallons of jet fuel. That same jet fuel cost between $5 and $8.50 a gallon at local airports. Then there was the trip in November 2010 to Costa Rica, paying $14,000 for 4,200 gallons of fuel or $3.27 a gallon. I mean, this may have been the greatest sweetheart deal in the history of NASA. Jamie Cord is president and chairman of the board at Consumer Watchdog, the Santa Monica group that first raised questions about this deal years ago. This is giving the keys to the NASA gas station to executives who clearly are not using it for scientific purposes. When their contract spells out, that's what they have to do. In fact, the original agreement, first signed in 2007, stipulates that Google's founders could house the airplanes at Moffett, paying about $109,000 a month in rent. In exchange, H-211 would allow NASA to use the planes for scientific missions. The agreement with NASA does not set a number of scientific flights, but our investigation last year showed that out of more than 1,000 flights, only 155 of them were actually for science. It's outrageous. It's more than outrageous. It, it, it boggles the mind. And these fuel records show 1,200 different times H-211 bought fuel out at NASA Ames, totaling $7.9 million dollars paying well below market rates. They should give that money back with interest. And if there was a intentional attempt to mislead the government, I think it rises to the level of a false claim against the government. Well, I hope, obviously, to get to the truth. Paul Asmus runs a nonprofit, Human Air Logistics, based in Palo Alto. Asmus asked and has been denied permission to base his operations at Moffett Field. During the last year, Asmus first obtained and then shared with us the federal fuel records. We then independently verified their accuracy with federal officials. Well, it confirms that there was definitely preferential treatment going on in a, in a more massive scale than I ever anticipated. Take this airplane, a 767. Records show it flew to Paris, Cancun, Switzerland twice, and Tahiti three times. Over the years, it's been fueled 100 different times for a total of 442,000 gallons of fuel. Or these Gulf Streams, four different ones, gassed up 404 times with 919,000 gallons of fuel. Airplanes that record show flew to Hawaii, Scotland, St. Martin, and Nice, France. So this whole investigation is something that uh, uh, smells to begin with. Uh, and we want to get to the bottom of it. Senator Charles Grassley of Iowa first saw our investigation of this arrangement a year ago. What bothers me the most is, is what's the justification for it? It implies that there's a favoritism going on. Uh, that would be wrong. And it implies that there's a waste of taxpayers' money. While she wouldn't answer questions on camera, NASA Ames Strategic Communications Division Chief Maria Kwan emailed a statement that reads in part, Quote, NASA is always looking for innovative public-private partnerships, 
and, quote, there is no agency on Moffett Federal Airfield other than the Defense Logistics Agency, the Defense Department, from which to obtain fuel. As for Google, a spokesman referred us to H211's vice president, Ken Ambrose, who declined an offer to go on camera, but sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, H211 aircraft buy only the fuel available at Moffett, and, quote, we pay full retail for hangar space, and, quote, between rent, capital improvements, and science flying, NASA and the taxpayers are $2 million to the good. The records show a helicopter owned by Ambrose, not by H-211, was refueled 138 times with 7,078 gallons of DOD fuel at Moffett Field. Then there's this. We do not have any discretion as long as those planes are domiciled or hangered within what is called a federal enclave. That's Larry Stone, the assessor for Santa Clara County, whose office assesses and sends out the local tax bill for all property taxes. What he's saying is that H-211 and Google's founders pay no county taxes on any of those airplanes because the planes sit at a federal facility. Is that fair, this arrangement? It's the law. I mean, I don't know if it's fair or not. I, I think that if somebody has their plane in within the federal enclave at Moffett Field, and they're not paying property tax, where the same plane located at, at San Jose Mineta Airport would be paying a property tax. Uh, no, that's not fair. Is H-211 getting an unfair advantage by being able to keep its planes there? Well, Congresswoman Anna Eshoo represents Moffett Field in Congress. Last summer, I asked her about the relationship between NASA and H-211. People in the community that care the most about what happens at the airfield have uh, signed off on this. Why? Because they are a partner with NASA Ames in terms of research. Eshoo's staff said she was too busy to answer our questions on camera this time. I think that this is something uh, that is celebrated in my congressional district. This is not a favor uh, in any way, shape, or form. Now, while she wouldn't answer our questions, Representative Eshoo's people did send us an email to update her stance on all of this, saying she now supports the inspector general's audit into this deal. And, quote, if it's found that the federal government was shortchanged, H-211 should make good on the difference. You can read all the full statements from this story online at BayArea.com. And, guys, during our investigation, the Defense Department did announce that as of August 31st, just last month, they were doing away with this deal and no longer would sell fuel to H211. You're raising a lot of eyebrows. Thank you, Stephen.